And now to this unfortunate incident we've been tracking where a uh, grandmother in Akbomo community in Akure South local government area of Ondo State has set her son, Dr. Rilo, and her two grandchildren ablaze. Now, according to an eyewitness in the community, the fire was noticed around 2 a.m. on Tuesday, which made neighbors rush to the compound to rescue the victims. According to the police public relations officer of the Ondo Command, Fumilayo Dulami, the suspect has been transferred to the State Criminal Investigation Department for further action. Now, to make sense of all of this, let's speak to the spokesperson of Ondo Police Command, Fumilayo Ondulami, Misonya. Good to have you join us. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, this is a rather disturbing development. Um, what more can you tell us? What exactly happened? Thank you. Well, the case was not reported officially to the police, but we got wind of it that a grandmother, Friday come Saturday, I mean Friday night now, that she set ablaze the house, the son, the wife, and the two children were staying overnight. Then some of the neighbors came around to try to put off the fire. Unfortunately, the husband and the wife died. But this afternoon, I called the, the first son of the woman, and he confirmed to me that the two sons were okay in the hospital for now. And of course, with the intervention of the police, the woman in question herself has been transferred to the police, um, to the hospital by the son. Um, which woman in question? Is it the, is it the grandmother or, or, the, or the wife? Because we understand that both of them were born to death. The mother, of the, the mother of the husband. Has been transferred to the hospital. But um, we were getting reports earlier that she's been arrested and, and probably with the police. Um, what more can you tell us about your investigation? No, so she was not arrested. She also, she also was affected by the infant. Also, she had some bonds too. So the first thing first is to first give her treatment. She has to be okay too before we can even commence investigation on her. All right, so, but have we? Have you? Um, have you even asked questions at all to, to understand exactly uh, why she, the motive behind um, why she did what she did? Like I said, she also needs medical attention. So for now, the focus is on making sure she's okay herself before we can start asking her some questions. But the policemen that have been to the area, they've been able to talk to one or two people in the area. But for now, until she is okay, that's when we can ask her some questions too. All right, so can you also give us this, uh, the state of the house? Was it completely burnt? And then um, just, just give us, uh, help us understand the state of the apartment, we understand it was set on fire. Yes, with um, some of the pictures I saw, I think part of the house was raised, was raised down totally. But there were some places close to where she was staying that they were able to salvage some things there. There were still some materials in the room. I guess that was where she was staying. But the other part of the house was actually raised, mm. raised down. All right. Um, we understand you said investigation has not started. I'm sure once you start investigation, we'll have you again um, just to get updates on that. Thank you so much for talking to us. Spokesperson of Ondo Police Command, Fumilayo Odulami.